Check it. What's up guys, you are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're gonna be looking at AMC, but I also look at Ape as well at the end of the video. So if you wanna see that, go ahead and scroll to the end. But I suggest watching the whole thing because I also talk about AMC, my personal thoughts and feelings for this week, this trading week coming up, and what I think is going to happen and my technical analysis and research. I'm gonna share all of that with you guys and more in this video so you don't wanna miss a second of it. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and hop in the charts, the facts, the data, and see what we have going on. All right, guys, you are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're gonna look at the technical analysis for AMC. We're also gonna look at the fundamental data as well. And I'm gonna talk about my thoughts and opinion about the stock and the court case and what is going to happen. Now, guys, we do have the date on the 25th, okay? We have the date on the 25th where we can listen in on the call. I will not be streaming that. You're not allowed to do that. Everyone made that very clear. And then I also seen that from the courts. So I will not be streaming it, but we can all join together on Discord, on my Discord, and watch everything live with the stock price and talk about and discuss that live. So nothing can stop us from doing that. We can do a watch party in the Discord. So I will be doing that most likely. So go ahead and hop and check that out. Link down in the description below. But guys, AMC could get really volatile here coming up. As you guys see, the Bollinger Bands right here on the four hour time frame are extremely tight, telling us volatility is coming. The fact that we have barely moved for about six days, telling us volatility is coming, okay? If we see any major downside, okay, anything below $4.50, that means the bars pattern is unfortunately broken and invalid. As technical analysis and an analyst, you always need to be critical of your data and make sure that it is tracking. That way you are not following false paths. Guys, this is tracking very, very accurately. It seems like we'll have a little bit of push to the upside tomorrow, holding that $5 range, 480 range, and then have a pullback into Tuesday or into Wednesday, Thursday, and then get that launch on Thursday into Friday. As you guys can see, the dates are down here at the bottom. You can see very, very clearly. Now, as far as price targets, guys, you can see the price right here on the side. You can see exactly where the price is supposed to be going. So I have it marked here at 30, but it's going all the way up to 40 and then coming back down violently. So if this bars pattern continues to play out and we see the launch on Thursday, and this is actually accurate and everything has been accurate so far, so it's very hopeful that it is, then we have a golden ticket to the price action and we know exactly what's going to happen, which is such a rare opportunity. So we can make a ton of money if you play this right. Now, I'm not telling anyone what to do, but me personally, I will be taking profits and rebuying back in and taking profits. So when it runs back up, I'll be taking profits and getting back in and uh, running it back up and taking more profits, making the maximum amount of money. The same way I did here when this ran up, I took profits, then I bought back in. I took profits, then I bought back in. All you had to do was wait till it went to about 40 bucks um, because before the, the split, it was at 40 bucks instead of 20 bucks. As you guys can see, it's a 20 over here. You waited till it got to about this range here and then you, you just bought it. And then when it got to the 60 range, you sold. It was very easy and made a lot of money. So that is what I plan to do this time. So guys, that is what I'm looking at for AMC. Now, we could have volatility over the week. I wanna talk about the 25th because if we see anything major on the 25th, that means the bars pattern is invalid. I think nothing's gonna happen. I think nothing's gonna happen on the 25th. Um, I, I don't think any price action is gonna happen. I think it's gonna surprise a lot of people, but just in case it does, we need to be ready for it. So if AMC starts to take off, we have several indicators like the alligator, like Bollinger Bands, RSI, Momentum Indicator, MACD, which we can use to find the top of the run. So if I don't have a bars pattern to figure out where the top of the run is going to be, we can also use the bars pattern and support and resistances to find the top of the run. That way we can trade or and or sell whatever we need to do to make the maximum amount of money. Apes, I want to warn you guys, you need to take profit. Do not sit 
through another major run, okay? I know that they tell you diamond hand, but guys, for your own families, for your own pockets, take profit. You can always buy right back in, okay? So say it's running up, okay? You can take your profits, all the money you made from here, from holding down here, you can take your profits and you can sell. Keep your extra stack and buy right back in and continue to ride it up and sell again. Take profits, okay? You can buy right back in as soon as you sell, place the buy order and get right back in it. But but lock in gains, okay? Number one suggestion, lock in gains. Now, AMC has a lot of technicals right here that we're looking at showing us that a big move is coming for amc stocks so guys you already know about the bollinger bands on the weekly time frame bollinger bands getting ridiculously tight on the weekly time frame telling us volatility is coming and we have green weekly macd rsi fairly low giving us plenty of room to run to the upside now if we look on the smaller time frames the, the smaller picture you guys can see that the emas the 50 is about to cross over the 200 that is a very very bullish indication that's called a golden cross anytime this golden ema crosses over the 200 ema marked in white and that's a bullish indication to many many traders this will happen if amc gets any type of price action above five dollars and 15 cents five dollars and 20 cents we'll get the golden cross giving us that bullish indication that we are going to make a move to the up side amc is literally primed to explode right now with the data as you guys can see we have more short interest than last time we have more cost to borrow than the last run up to all-time highs we are on a threshold security list amc is ready to explode we have way more ftds than last time the ftds are about in the 12 million range which is absolutely out of control and that is why we're on the threshold security list the ftds are piling up and we have ftds coming due because t plus 35 closeout dates all of this can provide extreme bullish momentum as well with a gamma squeeze which we could possibly have as you guys can see so we could have ftds covering gamma squeeze fomo shorts covering we could have a ton of stuff going on in this run pushing us to astronomical levels okay so as you guys can see in the options chain we if we can get over five or six dollars so if we can get above six dollars and hold it market makers will have to start hedging out their options and you will see a massive move to the upside with a gamma ramp as you guys can see we have a huge amount of gamma here at the ten dollar strike price at the nine dollar strike price at the thirteen dollar strike price lots of calls lined up to push us above those levels if we can get above six dollars and hold that for any amount of time you will see us start to run to the upside so we have the gamma ramp we have technicals telling us that if we get any type of price action to the upside we will absolutely explode and the whole week we've held these key levels tested them time and time again bounced off of them this 450 480 range keep testing it and bouncing off of it it's about 490 480 range keep testing it and bouncing off of it so it looks like we're going to hold that support which we need to do and then we can get that little bit of momentum to the upside and absolutely blast off now something else very interesting about the falling wedge i was able to readjust it properly and as you guys can see here on trading view as you guys can see this will line up perfectly with the resistance of the falling wedge so once we break this down sloping two year resistance i had thought we had broken it but once i looked on trading view and actually looked at the price action we did not break out of the wedge yet so once we break out of this falling wedge that we have been in for two years the momentum that we will get is going to be insane and something very interesting when i was doing my tta and research yesterday so when we first ran up this was forming a bull flag so there was a bit of a bull flag here and everyone thought that this was going to break out that this right here was going to be the breakout to a new high and everyone thought that and i think it was what i had what i think happened was they got those ftx tokens this is right around the time they got those and they shorted it down and every time we got close to breaking out they shorted it down i remember this run i remember these runs because i played them all i traded them i played them all i called them on the channel i remember these runs very very clearly and look exactly how they keep us from breaking out of this key resistance look how the, the, the candles slope down with the resistance then every time we get close to breaking out they short us down and the last time we were about to break out right here 
they made that Seeking Alpha article and they had 1.1 million short shares and they made sure we shorted down. Well, guys, they're running out of time and they've kicked this can too far down the road. We are at the tip of the wedge and we are about to break out. And the momentum we will see from breaking out of this wedge is going to be absolutely massive and just to get the breakout point for the falling wedge you want to take your high to your low and then take it to your breakout target and that will give you a target for your possible breakout of the falling wedge and if we do that you guys can see that we have significant upside in amc's future so let's go ahead and move that over see if i can get this real quick and just show you guys visually what we are looking at just from the breakout of the falling wedge as you guys can see it's going off of the screen so it's absolutely a massive breakout yeah so up here in the 50 45 50 dollar range is the breakout target now again this took two years to happen that means that it would take two years to eventually get up to that point or take time or it could all happen in a massive short squeeze but that is the trend that we are going to have once we break out of this two-year downtrend and it's very interesting because all of this lines up together as you guys can see i wasn't able to get the full bars pattern from everything so this is what it should look like if i continue to get the bars pattern and as you guys can see going all the way out to 2024 you guys can see so october as you guys can see on the bottom of the screen this thing will start to run up then pull back come back down to ten dollars Go up to $20 around 2023 October. And then in 2024 around May, you guys will see this thing absolutely lift off another time. Now it goes off of the charts here, but October, you can kind of see October, November, December, May, or December, and then 2024 and these years. So that would correlate exactly with what the falling wedge is saying that we are supposed to have for a breakout target, which is absolutely insane that all of this research and all of this data is lining up so clearly. So guys, this is exactly what I'm looking at. I don't think anything is going to happen on the 25th, but I will be very excited if it does. I think the 27th is our day. I do not think it's going to be officially ended on the 27th, but I think we're going to get the catalyst we need to break out on the 27th. The bars pattern has been tracking for several days now for over two weeks. I plan for it to continue to keep on tracking out. And if it does, I have called one of the most massive moves in AMC ever. Cheers to me. Congrats to everyone who made money. I appreciate each and every one of you that follow my channel, but this is what I have for you guys. So this is pretty much it. Stay calm. Keep your emotions out of it. We are set up for a huge run. Focus on the data. Focus on the technical analysis. Focus on how everything is lining up. We're in this beautiful falling wedge. We're in a bigger falling wedge. If we get the breakout, everything I showed you guys, how the breakout target is showing us to move up in the upward direction, the uptrend, how the bars pattern is showing us that uptrend, how the technical analysis is showing us that the price is coiling up like a spring and is about to explode because the bars, because the, uh, the Bollinger Bands are getting extremely tight and we're about to get a bullish move because we have bullish crossover on the MACD. We're about to have a bullish move because we're about to have a golden cross on the four hour time frame. Just focus on these things. AMC is ready to explode now as far as ape is concerned i do expect ape to run with amc okay i expect the conversion not to go through now obviously if the conversion goes through then ape will be turned into amc and none of this matters but if it does not i expect ape to run with amc if ape can get above three dollars it'll go to five if it can go past five if it can get to five then it can go to ten if it can get past ten dollars there is no telling how high ape can go because if ten dollars is basically like the golden zone where it's gonna just blow the lid off of this thing so it's gonna have a blow off top and, and and have a nice wick to the upside and have some nice upside but eight price targets five ten dollars and then after that i'm not too sure this 330 area is going to be retested as you guys can see we have this falling wedge breakout we're now in an uptrend and we have a cup and handle forming as you guys can see right here's your cup Right here is going to be your handle. Once we get above this dollar seventy range, you'll have a nice pop to the upside, about two dollars, two dollars and fifty cents. So I do expect upside in Apes future. Bollinger Bands getting very, very tight, telling us that price action volatility is coming. So guys, again, keep your emotions out of it. Focus on the technical analysis. Me personally, I do think the reverse split will ruin the Moas. 
shorts will cover during the reverse split. It is in the proxy filing that they have to cover on APE and AMC before the conversion. They will cover during the conversion, leaving us hold the bag, covering without a MOAS, without blowing up their funds, leaving us hold the bag, and they'll make their money back that they lost by shorting the new stock price down. That's exactly what's going to happen if we have a reverse split. The play is done. Me personally, I'm out of it if they, for some off reason, announce it. But I do not think that's going to happen. But again, guys, this is what I have for you. As always, have fun. Stay safe. Make money. Peace out. All right, guys, that was the video. Hopefully you found it informative. I know I did. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. Remember, you can check me out on Twitter and Discord for even more Data Zero updates. I go live there, talk about my trades all day long. So if you find any of that interesting, go ahead and check that out. Links in the comment section and description below. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you that watches to the end of the video. It truly means a lot to me. And have fun. Stay safe. Make money. Peace out.